All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to skip the usual intro and go right for the jugular. We have ourselves a brand new trailer yet again for Godzilla vs. Kong. And this is supposedly the final trailer, so let's see what we got up in this. All right, let's go, guys. Okay. And there's the little girl that can uh, communicate with Kong. Home. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I can honestly say I can't even begin to describe how cool they both look. Like, especially Godzilla with the glowing spikes and all that shit. Damn, man. Wow. Man, that is some haymaker right there. Oh, whoa. Oh! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, dude! March thirty first cannot come quick enough. Seriously, man! Holy shit! This is man, oh man, alive! Okay, so it looks like they're showing, you know, some, uh, some more familiar clips here. I- I could watch this, like, a thousand times over and just be... ...completely in awe with- with what we're seeing here. <laughs> this is so cool! Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Yup. Yes, sirree. Bam! I could watch that haymaker scene multiple times over. Holy shit! Mr. Resin is up. These are dangerous times. Godzilla is out there. He's hurting people, and we don't know why. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing. Yeah, I'd like to know what that is. Oh! Kong got bitch slapped there. Oh. oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Are you absolutely shitting me? Man, I get. Oh my god. Okay, I literally broke at that point right there. I needed to take a couple minutes to compose myself because holy shit, the excitement and hype that I have for this movie is on a whole nother spectrum. I cannot even begin to explain how big of a deal this movie is to me personally. Someone who grew up being a fan of Godzilla and King Kong and... Both of them being two of the biggest and baddest monsters in the MonsterVerse universe clashing together in what looks to be a dope as hell movie. I mean, come on. That right there sends electricity through my body, and I think a lot of you guys that are like-minded would definitely, definitely agree with that sentiment. Like, I just can't even begin to explain how awesome both Kong and Godzilla look in this movie. I mean, holy shit! They both look beastly. They both look amazing. And it seems like Godzilla is no slouch either when it comes to throwing hands, okay? It doesn't just have to rely on its atomic breath to do damage. Like, it bitch-slapped Kong, as you saw in the trailer, and... I was just thinking, my god almighty, this is absolutely great. Plus, I love the way that Godzilla glows blue. That shit is just fucking crazy. And blue is my favorite color, too, so it gets extra points on that. Now, what is exactly Godzilla's problem? Why is he suddenly the bad guy, so to speak? Why is he hurting people? And what could be provoking Godzilla? Now, the thing is, is that I am kind of thinking here that I have seen a fair share of mech Godzilla comments when it comes to this type of discussion here and I'm wondering if maybe it's because Mecha Godzilla might be controlling Godzilla or doing something. Like, I have absolutely no idea what to think other than the possibility that Mecha Godzilla could very well be involved in this equation as well. 
I don't even know, man. I am just way, way too excited for this movie. I cannot wait to see it come out, guys. Holy shit. So I'm going to leave it there. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions about this movie and the way they built it up? Are you guys excited to see Godzilla vs. Kong 2021 in action? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. And also, let me know your guys' theories when it comes to why Godzilla suddenly gone rogue and is the bad guy. So thank you guys... <coughs> So thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a damn good one. It's time for you, boy, to get to the gym because I drank pre-workout before recording this video. Now it's time for me to rip it up at the gym. Thanks again. Have a damn good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.